Part of your arsenal has received an upgrade, that part being the weapons. The way weapons, talents and mods work have fundamentally changed. Some weapons appear in different categories, different weapon classes have different bonuses and the overall handling and design has been changed. Let's take a look. Many if not all the weapons available in Manhattan will be available in Washington DC. On the surface the way weapons, talents and mods work seems the same, but in fact it's quite the opposite. Weapon sound, handling, talents and mods have all been redesigned. The first change that's notable is that the sound designers re-recorded every weapon sound, overall making the sound way better. Take a listen. I will look into comparing the sound effects in a later video, mostly focusing on the weapon sounds, but also focusing a little bit on the environmental sounds from Manhattan and DC. One small change is that you now can have one bullet in the chamber, meaning if you have a 30 round magazine you can reload your weapons to have 31 bullets. This doesn't apply to every single weapon, but at least it applies to pretty much all of them. Change number 3 is that historically the weapons were categorized in 6 categories Assault Rifles, Submachine Guns, Light Machine Guns, Shotguns, Marksman Rifles and Sidearms and now a 7th has been added, it being the Rifle category. Most weapons with the Burst or Semi-Auto Fire mode are placed in that category. This includes the Semi-Auto Marksman Rifles, Assault Rifles and Submachine Guns like the SIG 7.16 CQB which used to be a Devil or a Heel and Urban MDR as well as Burst Rifles like the M16A2. This class comes with its own bonus with increased critical hit damage. In another video I list the confirmed weapons and show what weapon class they belong to. The statistics on the weapons have mostly remained the same, but when taking a look it's noticeable that there are a few changes. Besides the stats that we have seen before, the critical strike range is a new one. It's listed, which is most likely the range from where critical hits are effective. On top of that, the range is now displayed in a chart to more accurately present the weapon's damage drop-off and that pretty much changes to the stats on the right of the screen. But the weapon talents have undergone a transformation as well. A high-end weapon can still hold up to 3 slots for the weapons, but each slot has different unlockable talents. Each weapon has an active, passive or handling and holster talent. The active talents are based on damage increases, thinking of first blood, where the first shot fired from a full magazine has increased body damage. The passive talents are based on weapon handling, thinking of accurate, which increases the accuracy by 10%. And the holster talents are active when your weapon is holstered most of the time. An example is greased, where your weapon swap speed is increased by 10% when holstered. There are pretty apparent exceptions to this, like the passive talent Allegro, which increases your rate of fire by 10%. Not sure why this is a passive talent as it indirectly increases your DPS, but it is. Overall this is nice, it means that you have to choose what active talent you want and you can select two other damage type talents. This increases the value of the passive and holster talents since these didn't get chosen in the previous game. I mean when was the last time you chose accurate? At this point it's widely known that weapon mods aren't lootable items but are unlocked through the perk system. Once a mod is unlocked you can apply it to every weapon that has a suitable slot for it. The attribute a mod rolls has been changed in a way it works too. Mods come now with a positive and negative attribute. For example the VX1 scope increases headshot damage by 30% but reduces the reload speed by 10%. This requires the agent to think about what build they're running and what they want to spec into. One change that takes a step back is that scopes with first person zoom can be aimed in third person. This handicaps the players massively when looking for targets, but it also limits it for the, mostly for the use of marksman rifles, since it's simply not practical for weapons with a higher rate of fire with an automatic fire mode. Quite a lot of changes where it might appear the same as before. I'm happy about these changes and I will create three intel briefings listing the confirmed weapons, confirmed talents and confirmed mods. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the intel briefing I would like to ask you to like or dislike 
share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in an infographic overview with the summarized information from this video. To end the video, I have a question for you. What changes to the weapons, talents and mods do you like and which do you not like? I really like the re-recorded weapon sounds, added the rifle category as well as the way talents and mods are now implemented. However, I see a downside to mods not being lootable items as well as the, of course, the first person scope zooms. Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.